a very warm welcome we are broadcasting live from king's resort another fabulous weekend of action here in king's this week we are hosting an absolute massive event the italian poker sport And here in seat eight, a Vincent a verdict from Belgium. Seat one, that's Marco Schmidt. Seat two, Leonardo folds and on the button here, Florian Labang. So action here with Emil Lukic from Slovakia. What an event, what a setup. What a night of entertainment we have in store. Appreciate all of you viewers logging in, following us. We absolutely love to bring you this content. Emil flopping two pair here. I think it's end of hand. Any kind of action towards this pot from Emil Lukic. Will win him the pot. That's Beth Ross Davoud. The German and the baseball cap on the right hand side of your screen playing about average stack. Would you believe we had 2,728 entries? Absolutely incredible. All of the guarantees completely smashed. And this particular event, the main event, had a guarantee of half a million euros. Who does that? Given the current climate, right smack in the middle of a pandemic and King's Resort comes out with a half a million guaranteed for just a 250 buy-in. So basically, the prize pool was bloated to over 570,000 euro and I'm just trying to log in here to twitch so I can participate in the chat I think I have you guys brilliant yes so available on twitch and straight away in the chit chat Shout out for Mattia. And I tell you, he is one guy to look out for. The young streamer from Naples will be a real force at this table. But meanwhile, we're looking at Marco Schmidt with the Ace 10, who makes it 300 and sorry, he makes it 33,375k. He has behind, but in the small blind position is Betros that would. And I'm not really clear why Salvador didn't peel a flop with pocket twos. What a price he was getting. Would have missed Ace Jack still in the lead. But a Betros, a Davoud out of position. Checks. He just flatted pre in the small blind position with the Ace Jack. Would have liked to see the three bet here. Would have liked to see Betros take control of the hand. And. It looks like Marco Schmidt with the weaker hand will just win this one. And that's the problems you create just flatting out of position. But not clear why Salvador didn't peel out. The graphic showed he'd pocket twos. He'd posted the big blind, which big blind, I believe, is 16,000. The raise was to 33. What a price he's getting. With a small pair. Odds, incredible odds and fantastic implied odds were he to hit a set. Anyway, the button moves and in this hand Salvador will post the small blind. And we have the young Italian streamer Mattia Festa from Naples posting big blind and big blind ante. And this is the Belgian player Vincent Verdict with the Queen 10.
Florian Labong. Love that name. Wonder what he does in his spare time. Salvador Delia. King 10, small blind, folded around to him. Let's raise this, Salvador. He looks up at the clock. He sees the big blind. Is 16,000, I believe. He's posted eight. And this young man, Mattia, will be a strong presence on this table were he to get a run at all. He's a highly accomplished tournament player. Plays the online small stakes. You'll find him streaming on a regular basis. He's just flatted here with the 8-6 he's missed, but Salvador is connected. Salvador, top pair. End of hand, Mattia. With none of it, gives it up, but moves. So this event is brought to you by King's Resort. And every week there is a massive poker festival in the resort. This week the Italian poker sport. That's what you're watching. This is the main event. 250 buy-in. Half a million guarantee. Marco Schmidt under the gun. Hello, Ace King. Looks like to be about 38,000. Ha. Problems. Marco Schmidt will be going broke in this hand. No doubt about it. There's no escape for Marco Leonardo Sabatino. Looks down at two. Aces 1.4 million stack the chip leader on this table Leonardo Sabatino he's all the players covered Th clear three bet coming in Aces versus the under the gun open from Marco Schmidt there's the three bet to in around 90,000 It's 88,000 three bet. Florian, goodbye, sir. Put them in the bin. Let's wait for a different spot. Action moves to Salvador. Mattia, small blind, snap fold, king nine. Now, Vincent, a verdict. King, queen, big blind. I mean, there's too much interest shown already. And the Belgian player. We'll just have to dump the king-queen here. I mean, he's not closing the action. That's the problem here. Were he closing the action, okay. Maybe he comes along for the ride. But given that Marco Schmidt still to act, he may not realise a flop. See his equity. And there you are, the four bet as expected. Snap called. Pretty standard story. Horrible, really, for Marco Schmidt, ace king. Four bets all in. Leonardo Sabatino snaps him off. Leo with the ace is standing up. Two hearts, no heart in either player's hand. It's all over for. Marco Schmidt, unless we get a backdoor straight, four or five, no, nope. it's over, no card in the deck can help Marco, taps the table, well played, nice hand, Marco eliminated, and the chip leader now, on this table, playing triple the average stack, on 1.9 million, if you've just tuned in, a very warm welcome. Thank you for tuning in to the King's broadcast. We're streaming the main event of the 
Italian Poker Sport Festival. This festival was crazy. All the guarantees smashed. That's a graphic of the chip count of all the players. Mattia from Naples. The young streamer. 25 bigs. And the chip leader, Leonardo. Also from Italy. 1.9 million. What a situation for Leonardo. Almost 120 big blinds. Cruising. Marco Schmidt has gone to the cage to collect his cash. He does cash. Bubble has been burst. I believe we've about two. Oh, I don't know. 220 players left. I'm just throwing out random numbers here. Well, actually, the field size you can see in the top left there now. 216 players remain. Average stack. 631. The chip leader on this table, 1.9 million. But this is Florian Lebong. The German has picked up Ace King. Under the gun. That's Emil Lukic, who looks very interested. And why would he not be? I mean, this is almost a repeat of what we've just witnessed. Emil now with the absolute monster, both playing the same stack size. Three bet incoming. Here we go. In around 85,000. And you can hear Florian just say, See what just happened. So 91k for Emil Lukic. Three bet. Florian going nowhere here. Incredible. Under the gun versus under the gun plus one. I mean, it'd be super standard to see a four bet rip here. Florian. Labong with the big slick. Does he pull the trigger? I don't blame him if he does. Ace King can get so many hands that he's flipping against a fold that would th likely three bet him. All the small and medium pairs. Could be up against ace queen suited that'd be a dream scenario for florian but unfortunately he's up against an absolute powerhouse and that's the four bet looks like 200k there these are 25k chips but florian taking his time is the aerial up the antenna is just trying to suss out he's trying to estimate the hand strength of a meal just flat call. Florian Labong with a flat call. Here we go. King high board. Wait for it. 4 3 10. Two spades. Florian with the king of spades. So certainly a check, I feel, from Florian. Then we're going to see a continuation bet from Emil. There's the check, and now the continuation bet. There's 222 in the pot. Going to see a bet of 100,000 minimum. Anywhere between 100 and 120K. It's even smaller. I like this guy, Emil Lukic. I like his sizing. 76,000. It's a third pot size. So you're sitting with Ace King here. You've got three bet pre. You've kind of under your hand by just flat calling. So I think you may see Florian peel one off here. 
getting a massive price is 300k in the pot 76,000 he's getting four to one does have the back doors back door flush back door broadway and there is the 76,000 three in the turn so that shouldn't really scare Emil Lukic very hard for him to put Florian on a three given that he opened under the gun called the three bet so I think you're going to see another lead out here from the Slovakian player who has about a 2x pot size bet behind you're watching the Italian poker sport it's the main event Finton Gavin is my name I'm going to be staying with you guys bringing you all the action from this massive event note there's only one ace left in the deck we saw a couple of aces fold a pre there's another continuation it looks like about 220 a bit more Two twenty four. So Emil sizing up and I think that's end of hand. Florian I believe we'll just let this go. No connection to the board. Too much strength being demonstrated from the player to his immediate left to me, Lukic, who three bet him pre flop. I mean, Florian could easily have gone broke here. So, pretty, pretty standard, pretty cool hand that, in fact, Florian LeBlanc just opting to flat the three bet Emil Lukic got a street of value on the flop 30% pot size bet and then just finished his opponent off in the turn that's the scoreboard new player just took the seat it looks like of Marco Schmidt seat one there you can see Michael Cosmas 15 big sees the short stack on the table So here we go, Mattia Festa, the young Italian in the bin, and then we have Vincent Verdict folding, this is Leonardo Sabatino, small blind Jack Deuce, not interested in competing against Florian, who seems to be extremely comfortable, this guy Florian Lebon, seems to know exactly what's going on. This is the Italian poker sport main event here in Kings Resort. By the way, all the all the guarantees for this festival all smashed. Earlier we had the high roller event, which was a 500 buy-in, 30k guaranteed. Would you believe it produced over a hundred thousand in the prize pool? This particular event you're watching was 220 plus 30, so a 250 buy-in. And players started with a 50k stack. And the blind levels 15 minutes today. 
and then we increase the clock for the final day day three tomorrow I'm trying to read the chat but it's um, mostly in Italian well I guess it is the Italian poker sport but I have a feeling that um, Mattia Festa who's a very popular streamer has some of his followers and uh, just a shout out to all you guys I know Mattia's parents are tuning in and his girlfriend and many of his friends and followers so thanks for tuning in to the Kings broadcast let's hope Mattia can get a run but meanwhile we're going to be watching blind versus blind Florian Labong here versus Emil Lukic Queen 7 suited limped in the small blind position and Emil just checked back his option with the 9-7 and straight away ace in the window club so the back door clubs but Emil with the middle pair I think you're going to see Florian well I would have expected Florian to bet with that ace given that he's in the small blind position you would think the ace would favor his range he checks and Emil puts in 20,000 second pair Emil figures he would have heard from an ace this could be a check race wouldn't surprise me at all Florian Lebong just saying to Emil hey buddy I'm the player here with the aces not you if you had an ace I would have heard from you pre-flop that's what Florian is saying and Florian just turning his hand here into complete well what am I talking about both have flopped second pair I might gone blind or something both connecting with that seven Florian with the bigger kicker and the backdoor clubs Emil not ready to give up yet with second pair this is developing into a sizable pot the two and the turn well it's improved Emil's kicker so were this to go to show then we'll probably see chop pot action Florian Labong checks Emil will check back here for sure that's the check back now to the river what will the river produce a six same story it is a six of spades so there is now a flush I'm guessing that both players just want to get the showdown There's the check from Florian and Emil checks back. Yeah, Emil figures out it's a chop. And Florian just giving a bit of a look there to Emil. Yeah, you got lucky. Okay, so the situation here in Kings Resort, we have day two for you of the italian poker sport we have a couple of cool players on the table this guy is one of them florian and emil these guys seem to know exactly what they're doing they might be slow to act but they're pretty deliberate and they come across to me as very experienced we also have the young italian streamer mattia festa short though mattia I believe he's sitting on about 25 big blinds he's on the very right hand side of your table with the white face mask this is Salvador Delia Salvador folds and now Mattia 8-4 no interest straight into the bin 
Vincent a verdict. Vincent, King Queen. He's not going to be folding the King Queen this time. He'll be opening. Big blind is 16,000. Looks like it's 41,000. High Jack, Jack 3 in the bin. And Florian with the King 7 gets out of the way. Emil, small blind, Ace 10. All options open to Emil Lukic. He's sitting on 1.1 million average stack, about 620 odd thousand. Yeah, pretty tight fold, Ace 10. But Vincent Verdict. We'll take that. 40,000 prof profit brings us stack up to about average. So appreciate all of you viewers via the platform on Twitch and the Facebook platform. This event produce massive numbers 2728 players creating a enormous prize pool 570k one of these players will receive that first place 90,500 euro i mean it's just phenomenal stuff given that the buy-in is just 250 euro and one of these players will be awarded 90,500 you can see the field size shrunk again, 208 players. Leonardo, Suda King in the hijack position. This is the chip leader. He should be pushing his weight around in all honesty. And there you go, Leonardo Sabatino. Opens with the King Six suited. Florian, four high. Emil on the button, the Jack 10 that goes into the bin. Behras the Wood. Small blind suited connector is not interested. Salvadori should be defending here. 20,000, so there's 76,000. Getting almost 4 to 1 on his money. And 10 6 suited. That for me is a clear defend. But no, Salvador Delia says no thank you. Not strong enough. 10 6. Goes into the bin. The players started this event a few days ago. In fact, we had the flights from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and that now famous Sunday morning turbo flight, 10 a.m. What else would you be doing on a Sunday morning at 10 o'clock? Well, if you're in King's Resort, the chances are you will be playing that last chance flight if you're not already true to day two of the main and that was the decision of 500 players this morning capped of course at 500 met the cap instantly i think by level three tournament was closed and that brought the total volume of entries to 2728 this young man is a cool customer He's only playing a couple of years but very accomplished his expertise is in the kind of 20 to 30 dollar mtt's online a little bit shackled here with these his chip stack but believe me if he gets a stack at all 
he will be a strong force on this table. This is Michael Cosmos short stack. Under the gun in the bin, the Italian Leonardo folds, Florian snap folds, and now action with Emil Lukic hijack. Queen Jack, 1.1 million stack. Yeah, let's go, Emil. Let's open this up. See what's out there. Table's playing a little tight. But not Mattia Festa from Naples. He's going to be shoving this back in Emil's face. Pocket 10s in the small blind versus a hijack open. You're going to see a three bet, I'm thinking. All in, and it wouldn't surprise me, an all in rip here, yeah. Because that's going to just get rid of so many hands that he's flipping against, like this Queen Jack. And hey, look, some buddy, you got Ace King, let's, let's do it. Let it run. But Matty is not going to get any action from Emil. Emil Queen High will just let this go into the bin after a few more seconds. No way. No chance of a call here. Emil just giving the impression that he opened with a premium, but we know that Emil was always folding the queen high there. Mattia Festa takes it down. So the 50,000 starting stack for all flights, last flight, turbo flight this morning. And then the players came back then. Earlier today, about 4 p.m. local time. I think about 450. In and around 450 players. From the 2700. Eight, 28 players Six, that started got through to this day two today. Prize pool 570,000. 90,500 up top. Behros Dawood hijack open. Eight, Ace 10. Vincent, no interest. And Michael looks down at 7 deuce. And look at the stack for Michael Cosmos. Just 13 big blinds. That's Behros with the baseball cap. Playing above average. That's Florian Labong with the white baseball cap. And then Emil Lukic to his immediate left, our right, as we look at the screen. And this is Florian first to speak, 9 7. This will go straight into the bin. And Emil will snap fold the Jack 7. Behros Dawood. With the 9-6, just takes him a minute to fold out Salvador Delia. Playing a little bit on the tight side, folds out and Mattia. Snap folds, now action on the button, 7-4. Vincent, a verdict. Folded around him on the button, but just doesn't have a hand that he can play. Michael short stack. Might let rip here, 10-4, it's so weak, he gives up. But... Would have got it, he would have got that true now. Just 200,000 behind big blind will be 20k by the time it comes around to him next time. He'll have to post 20% of his stack blind, so maybe you feel an opportunity missed there. Yeah, it was a punt, but you gotta take a punt. 
when you're short stacked you just can't get blinded away it's just not an option in tournament poker you got to make a stand but michael does have the button position does have the comfort the breathing space for another four or five hands before he has to make a decision this is Emil Lukic in the bin. Bet Ross 9 3, no interest. Salvador will fold a 6 3. An action now on the young man from Naples, Mattia Festa. Queen Jack, that's strong enough for Mattia to open. Blinds 8,000, 16,000. You're going to see a raise here to about 35. Thirty-eight thousand. For Mattia. Michael has to bin his hand. Leonardo, chip leader, could put Mattia in all kinds of bother here. Where he hits a three bet from out the small blind position. He's sitting on a giant stack, Leonardo. And you would think that would be the move. It just flats. Incredible. Well, it's pricing in Florian Lebong here. I mean, I don't do that with a small pair. I get rid of it or three bet. The chance of taking it down. You do get called you're in control of the hand, but Leonardo just flats and Florian just doing up the mathematics, getting a massive price. Look at this: twenty-two to call, hundred and eight in there, five to one. No, thank you. I don't get that. I'll be honest. But I'm a sucker for attractive price, no matter what my holding is. 558, and there you have it. I mean, Florian would have outflopped both his opponents. Leonardo Sabatino versus Mattia Festa. Leo checks. Mattia has none of this. But as the pre-flop aggressor, Mattia is going to fire on this board. And he's not going to get rid of Leo just yet. 26,000. Check raise. Yeah. And now Mattia. Big problems for Mattia. Absolutely none of it. Queen high. Getting check raised. Okay, sir. You can have this one. Leonardo Sabatino. Goes his own way and wins a sizable pot. Nice profit for Leonardo Sabatino. Flat up with the fours. Check raised on the 558 board. Now the button position. Two million stack. Chip leader on this table. One of the overall leaders. Still about 200 players left in this Italian poker sport main event. For viewers that have just tuned in, the buy-in for this event, 250 euro total, the guarantee was a crazy half a million, but that was smashed. Huge turnout, 2,728 players produced a prize pool of 570,000, the Belgian player, Vincent Verdict, A7 hijack, should be opening there. Put off folds and the button leonardo queen eight why is he not opening there i don't get it he's the table boss chip leader 
he should be dictating the action here on this table but he just lets it go Florian Labong he'll show interest small blind he'll raise here 3x of course I get this completely wrong he limps with a small pair well I guess there's a couple of threes out there he can hit well I mean how good do these small pairs flop Mm, not very there you have it end of hand well maybe not Florian is going to check here no he leads out two pair he thinks he's good Emil flop trips 16 his opponent betting into him Good spot here from Emil. Just a flat call. No point in raising, getting rid of your customer this early. Four on the turn. Florian. Shuts down. Now, Emil, I guess we'll bet here, but given there's a flush draw straight draw try and target all the nine X's that will call off here thirty-eight thousand in the hand no way Florian goes it does wowzer I mean Florian's beaten absolutely nothing here well, 6 8, 10 8, all these drawing hands he's ahead of. But I mean, he's always going to be faced with action on the river Ace of Spades. Florian, I presume, is just in check call mode here. There's the check, and now Emil should be going for value. Flush came, but via the back door, has to go for value. Emil, come on, my friend, put in 70, 80,000. Hand is way too strong just to check back. Yeah, these, these guys are pretty cool, these two guys. There's the 82,000 value bet. Florian counting it out. Well, he can beat a bus to draw. That's about it. I mean, so many of his problems. I mean, he could have just raised three. I three x there with a small pair pre-flop. You limp in. Your opponent checks back. Very hard to narrow down your opponent's range. Seven seven nine board. I think Emil pretty much got the maximum. And Spectacto in the house says Daniel Nugrano is the best poker player in the world. I don't agree with you. It's Mattia Festa from Naples. The up and coming Italian superstar. You see him in your screen here with King Jack. Big blind, 16,000. There's the raise. Snap fold from Vincent Verdict. Michael in real bad shape. He's going to have to do something in the next couple of hands. Florian took a hit, but he's still okay. Average stack. Folded right around. No interest. 
Mattia picks up 40k profit and I believe he now posts the big blind and big blind ante so Michael literally has this hand on the next before he's forced to post 20% of his stack in blind because the blind level will have increased to 1020 by the time it gets around to him what a situation for leo leonardo 125 big blinds crazy well in the money here 197 players remain average stack about 700k here we go florian Lavong in the cutoff tens Thirty-six thousand open, no interest from anyone. Salvador will be snap folding seven three here. So, any viewers that have just tuned in, just to let you know what you're looking at, you're looking at. Florian Lebon, the German player in the baseball cap, just scoop a pot. We're into day two here of the Italian poker sport. We're deep into day two. We're in the money. This event is a 250 euro buy-in. The outlandish guarantee of 500,000, would you believe, has been smashed. So these players are all competing for... 570,000 total prize pool. Eventual winner receives 90,500. Leonardo Sabatino, chip leader. Vincent Verdict. This is a short stack. Desperate times for Michael. He's going to know all about it in a minute when the big blind will be requested by the dealer. Salvador, pseudo connectors, small blind, eight, seven suited. Mattia says, okay, let's go. Let's see a flop. Mattia Festa, seven, six off. And the ace, queen, jack, Salvador, Delia. I think will be repping that flop. Well, he's flopped a flush draw. Salvador checks again. Mattia Festa. Absolutely none of it. Seven high checks back. Jack on the river. I mean, it's a chop pot here, but what? Why does Delia not go for it? Mattia will go for it. 48,000 out there. Let's this. There you go. That's. I, I just don't get Delia's. Because. He's never, he's never winning. He's splitting. He has to be repping that board as the player in the small blind position. And look at this. Madia going to steal one from Salvador. Delia. Madia. When checked to him on every street, says, hold on a minute. There's just way too much passivity and weakness showing here. Fires out a bit, takes it down. Mattia Festa from Naples. The online streamer.
taking down a pot still pretty short though but there's none shorter than this guy michael who you see looking at his cards folds the jack six this is the last hand at the 8,000, 16,000 blind level. Next hand is 10,000, 20,000. Action. Leo. Chip leader. Jack 10. Suit it. Beautiful hand, full of potential, but what happens when you're faced with a three bet why did leonardo sabatino go so big maybe blinds have increased already Fifty-one thousand. that's just not i mean that's more than a 3x with the blinds at sixteen thousand. i'm guessing the blinds are already up to 10 20 and that's why you see a fifty-one thousand race florian lebong interesting just flats with the ace king suited it's an interesting one i mean it depends what the blinds are if the blinds are at sixteen thousand, i mean this is such a big sizing i can kind of understand the flat oh Beros dawood what the heck just happened i know i just this is crazy sevens he folded the sevens. I don't get it. To an open on the flat. What's he waiting for? Betros Dawood. I believe he folded sevens. Okay. Leonardo Sabatino. Jack 10 suited. First act. Well, this is one of the huge benefits of just flatting with the ace king in position. I mean, your hand is it's kind of disguised, really. Leonardo flops a good shot. Always going to be leading on this type of board. Florian Lebong may keep the story going here. But it is very draw heavy. So I wouldn't blame him if he pulled the trigger. But I mean, if he just flats here, who knows what Leonardo may do on the turn. Florian Labong. He flops top, top. That's 50,000. Oh, here's the three bet. He's going to announce himself. I think it's about a hundred and forty five one fifty five. Oh, look at this, Leonardo going for chips. Just a good shot. Out of position. The action now is on Sabatino, Sabatino, who you see in the center of your screen. Well, there's not much of it you can see. You can see his nose, basically. Raised pre, got flattered, let out, got raised. Time to let it go. Florian Labong. Ace King suited. Very surprised there, the fold from Bechros Dawood pre-flop but table is playing on the tight side I'd love to know what that blind level was well there's 20,000 
and another 20,000 you can see posted by the short stack Michael we already had a bust out very early on we had Marco Schmidt opened under the gun with Ace King Leonardo with the Aces all in pre Mattia. Fifty K, let's go. Kojak suited. Vincent will be snap folding this and then we have action on the short stack. Who I mean he was playing two hundred thousand. He's twenty forty. He's twenty percent of a stack in blind. Michael Cosmos. 160 I mean this is painful King high would he go I I'd be tempted to go with it he's eight bigs behind I suppose eight bigs he can let the button I'm thinking he can let the button go through him again see what develops not much room there but this guy very impressive this young Italian from Naples and Florian also here on your screen with the baseball cap has impressed me These are the two standout players So far early days Emil in the bin and Behra snap folds Salvador playing extremely tight Mattia no interest with the Queen 4 this is Vincent a verdict from Belgium oh, it reminds me of Harry Redknapp don't know why Vincent a verdict 9-8 suited on the button it has to be opening with this 55,000 let's have you boys Michael Cosmos in the bin and Sabatino with just a five high you feel it's just too weak to defend and Mr. Harry Redknapp takes down the pot So button moose Michael is the short stack he's playing I believe a hundred and fifty thousand seven and a half bigs he has the button and big blind is posted by Florian Emil under the gun should be opening here ace jack field size down to 186 blinds 10,000 20,000 all these players well in the money but of course all the big money will be distributed tomorrow day three final day who'll be there i don't know but this guy will be dangerous if he gets there with a stack action on vincent a verdict cut off fours flats Michael desperately short small blind no interest and Florian getting a big price will be coming along on this journey you'd expect 130,000 already in the pot 20,000 to call getting six and a half to one on his money yeah does the mats have to call let's go
So three-way action. First to speak will be Florian Labong. Defend it with the A7, and this is big trouble for Florian and Emil. Vincent Verdict's flopped bottom set. Both Florian and Emil have connected with that ace. Florian checks. Emil open pre. Hundred and fifty K in the pot. Gonna see a continuation from Emil Lukic from Slovakia. Forty three thousand. Thirty percent pot size bet and Vincent verdict. Just flatting. Bottom set. Florian now in the tank. He's flopped top here. He does have the back door straight. Guess he comes along. 43,000. Quarter million out there. This is not straightforward. Florian. Just asking what kind of stacks. Sizes he's up against. I think that backdoor straight would keep me interested, along with top pair, obviously. Florian Labong. In the tank, 43,000 to go, Florian. There's the call in this pot now. Almost 280,000. Vincent Verdict. Bottom set in position. Florian first to speak. Picks up a good shot to go along with top pair. He checks. I'm thinking Emil would be checking here for sure. And now Vincent with bottom set. You're watching Vincent verdict. He flopped bottom set been checked to him by both Florian and Emil and here we go for value on 120,000 that's the end you would think of Florian 103 in fact is the bet 103 Florian goes, but a meal. I'm guessing will stick about. Ace Jack. Just trying to put his opponent on a hand. He can beat a meal. Nines and tens come to mind. Ace 10 comes to mind, but no. Emil gets away. Decent fold. Vincent Verdict scoops the pot and wins approximately 200,000 profit. Pretty decent fold, that. Change of deck. You're watching the Italian Poker Sport. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate all the comments and this particular event huge festival in the calendar the italian poker sport it's attracted 2728 entries
the short stack we're looking on the screen there on that graphic in Michael Cosmos just seven and a half bigs blinds at 10,000 20,000 Michael in pretty desperate shape button has just passed him does have another three or four hands before he's forced to post the big blind a big blind ante this is Bekras Dawood under the gun Queen 8 in the bin Salvador Delia with the 7-6 no interest this is Mattia Festa 9 deuce off suit and now Vincent Verdict folded all the way around to Leo Sabatino Chip leader on the table, 1.8 million. Stack, Jack 10 suited. I've been here before, he's always going to be opening with this hand. Forty three thousand. Florian in the small blind with Jack 9 off suit. This goes into the bin. And now Emil Lukic from Slovakia. 10 3 suited, not interested in defending. And Leonardo Sabatino feels this pretty impressive stack up close to 2 million once again. But moves and blinds are posted. That's the short stack, seat one, Michael, seven and a half bigs next to him as the chip leader. And this player on the button position is Florian. That goes into the bin. Emil with King four in the small blind. Sorry, he's Jack five. King four, I guess, belong to Behros. But action first with Emil. In the small blind position, he limps in. Puts in 125k chip. Dealer will flick back 5k bet Ross checks his option ace nine ace bet Ross flops two pair Emil has none of it Jack five off suit a meal. He's checked his option. Just lets it go. Leaves him with a one million stack in Bevros Dawood. Takes down a pot. He'll post small blind and the player on the very right is Salvador Rafael Adelia. He'll pose big blind, big blind ante. And the action will be on this young man, Mattia Festa from Naples. And uh, Kappa 
asking what the price pool is. The guarantee was 500,000. Total price pool 570,000. Massive turnout for this. Now, interesting situation here. Michael Cosmos. I think his tournament's over, to be honest. It's unfortunate. He lets rip with King Jack. And he runs into King Queen, which is pretty desperate situation. Oh boy, ten four folded, or sorry, ace ten suited folded. I think Bet Ross folded the ace ten suited there in the small blind to a seven and a half big blind rip but I suppose it was called flat called by the chip leader Leo who could be sitting with a monster so not too out of the ordinary King Jack for Michael Cosmos needs to connect with a jack there's been a jack folded already now that seven opens up a few chop pot opportunities any five or any deuce to chop jack for the win obviously michael cosmos busting out of the italian poker sport main event this was a 250 euro buy-in Price pool, total price pool, 570,000. That's the chip leader on the table. That is Leonardo Sabatino, who is playing over 2 million. We have a free seat. Same seat. Is now empty again. With Marco Smith busting out earlier on from seat one. Michael Cosmos took his seat well be it with a short stack 15 bigs and now michael busting out to this gentleman leonardo florian labong hijack ace queen let's go florian there's work to be done sir blinds are 10,000 20,000 Florian always very deliberate, very methodical, likes to take his time. It's in a min raise, 40,000 in the hijack position and Emil Lukic cut off, looks down a King Jack. Off suit. Emil also likes to take his time. Flat from a meal, and now Petros Davoud folds the 9 5 in the button position. Salvador Delia will be snap folding the 8 3 offsuit. And now action with Mattia Festa, who's getting a massive price but not interested with his weak holdings. 8 4 offsuit that goes into the dustbin. So Florian versus Emil once again bit of history between these guys they've competed a few times and Florian has flopped top top Emil has missed Florian first to speak you'd imagine a lead here from Florian with top pair top kicker Forty thousand continuation, and Emil Lukic is none of this.
King Jack offsuit into the bin as expected. Florian Le Bon brings the stack up to 864k. This is the Italian Poker Sport main event. 250 buy-in. So new arrival on the table. Looks to be about eight hundred thousand, about average stack. Just four hundred and yeah, in around eight eight fifty. Sitting in seat one. We'll get the details shortly. So Mattia Festa makes it 52,000 with the Kojak suited button position. Vincent looks down at a weak ace and he's coming in for a flat. I'm not crazy about this. What is going on? Ace five. Button raise, big blind picks up an ace, he folds. Well, I guess small blind. Looks to be strong coming in from that position with a call. Top here for Madia. Check bet you would expect from Madia Festa. This guy is tricky. Thirty-four thousand. Continuation bet from Mattia and Vincent. Absolutely none of it. Ace deuce. End of hand. So that is the graphic displaying the chip count 
for each player at our feature table here. Same story up on top of that leaderboard, Leo Sabatino. And now the short stack is Salvatore Delio. Ross just limps with the king queen. Bet Ross has been playing extremely tight, but looks like the conservative approach for this hand is going to work out okay for him because Vincent a verdict has picked up the aces. So you're going to see a raise here from Vincent. Blinds are 10,000, 20,000, and Behros limping. So I'm estimating around 55 to 60,000 rays from Vincent Verdict from Belgium. So he made it 63,000 total snap fold around to Leo Sabatino in the big blind, no interest. And a bet Ross who's limped in is going to make up the additional 43,000. No paint. Which is lucky really for Bevros Dawood. King or Queen High flop would have certainly spelt more pain. He's gonna donk lead this. Oh wow. Seventy five thousand. I mean Vincent Verdict Probably thinking he's up against King 10, maybe Ace 10, although he's blocking that. Could be up against Jax. Jax could play it like this. I oh, don't like this. Don't like the shove. Because he has position and he's getting rid of all of the bluffs from Behras Dawood. If he just flats there, I mean, he can make more money. He's only getting called by a set. Possibly Jax. But does Beckross limp with Jax in the first place? Not likely. Result for Vincent Verdict. He makes money. You feel it could have been more. Beckross Dawood now short stacked. Guys, just let me know, is that sound? I'm getting a pretty jumpy feed. I'm not sure how my sound is. Let me know if that's good. Vincent a verdict in the cutoff. Small pair. Vincent up to eight hundred and eighty-seven thousand. Makes it forty-five thousand. Action around to Leo, the big stack he folds, and now Florian. In the big blind position with eight seven. Action on Florian.
Right. So, Florian has flopped the up and down straight draw here. And it's gone check, check. And there is the straight. Florian Lebong. So Florian has turned it straight here. He's going to lead out. And Vincent a Verdict, who opened in the cutoff with the pocket threes. Four overcards. 55,000 does have the three of hearts, but this is a stretch too far. I can't see Vincent a Verdict continuing here. Vincent looks back down at the threes. Confirms he does have a, have a heart in there. Looks back at his stack. Let's it go. Florian Labong. Defended with the 8 7. Flopped an up and down straight. Turn the straight. German takes down another pot he's been pretty impressive Florian he's a little bit on the slow side which can be challenging to watch but uh, this is big big payday for many of these players 90,500 up top I mean, it's crazy money. Perfectly entitled to take as much time as they need. Behros Dawood won't need much time to open here with the Ace King. Clear open. Looks like 55, 56, 57, 58,000. Well, 53 it is. Probably picked up a 5k chip there along with the 25k chips but 53,000 is what the dealer announced Vincent a verdict with the 10-9 suited Florian looks down at Jack 8 lets it go and oh boy Emil Lukic with big slick also in the big blind position and you can see the equity 51% for Emil very slight favorite given that there's been more hearts and spades folded than diamonds and clubs so all in rip snap call this is super standard stuff here we go chop pot says behras probably says emil so there you have two diamonds emil with a free roll to the backdoor diamonds proves his equity ever so slightly 53 percent and that's the end of hand we're going to see a chop both players take their money back they will chop up the small blind and the ante that behros posted so behros actually loses money in that hand
line still 10,000 20,000 have another 10 minutes left in this level day two of the Italian poker sport 2,728 players enter this event and we're down now to just about 168 169 in fact average stack 807 Vincent a verdict lets it go and we have another new player in seat one this is Florian Lebong he folds and a meal with seven deuce in the small blind position Jack suited takes it down pre button moves if you've just tuned in you're watching Italian poker sport main event we're broadcasting live from King's Resort this particular event is a 250 euro buy-in it held a half a million guarantee and with the huge turnout the prize pool bloated to a hundred sorry to five hundred and seventy thousand. First place payout ninety thousand five hundred. Vincent, ace ten suited. Vincent will be opening here. Forty-six thousand open from the Belgian player with Ace Ten suited. So now action with the chip leader on the table, playing two million. Leo Sabatino. Nine seven hearts. Leo in the tank, considering a three bet maybe. I guess Vincent has been pretty active, but he has had the hands vincent verdict but leo thinks hold on this guy is just raising way too high a frequency so leo puts in the three bet to 118,000. Pressure back on Vincent Verdict. Ace 10 suited. 118,000. So Vincent Verdict, he's out of position here, but he's going to continue. He puts in the additional 72,000 to peel a flop with the ace 10 suited. Leo. With the three bet, with the nine high. Looking to take down the pot pre, but Leo does have the huge benefit of position, but Vincent going nowhere here. Connects with the ace and checks first to speak so action with leo who three bet he's going to be firing here you'd expect looks to be around 135 120,000 120,000 128 in fact and now action with vincent
Vincent verdict called the three bet pre-flop so going absolutely nowhere with two pair backdoor spades does have that concern of being out kicked well I mean this is just going to relieve all that tension hitting the 10 he now goes ahead of ace king ace queen these types of hands that would be in Leo's three betting range so Vincent verdict makes aces and tens and now Vincent will lead out for 203 target these bigger aces ace king ace queen Leo asking Vincent how much he has behind but I mean whatever Leo is considering it's not going to work hard to figure a hand that can be beating Vincent he's blocking aces he's blocking tens this ain't going to work Leo Leo does put on the handbrake. Vincent verdict, bringing his stack up to 1.1 million. So button moves were coming towards the end of this level, the 10,000, 20,000 level. Another 10 minutes approximately. We will be having a short break, but we're going to be back again with the same feature table. Eightful. 166 players. From a starting field of 2,728, all these players guaranteed a payday, but all the big money distributed on day three, final day, final table. This is Emil folded around to him, so he's always going to be opening here in the cutoff with King Queen. Beth Ross folds and Dawood gets out of the way, and this is the Italian. Mattia Festa who has Queen 9 in the big blind position he'll put in the additional 20,000 to peel a flop 110,000 out there now Mattia first to speak he's missed Emil is connected check bet fold will be the order of play Emil Lukic from Slovakia nice little check back here that's tricky just given Mattia who's out of position here but could try and rep that king but Mattia doesn't fall for it Emil now would certainly be leading out
Maria Festa, the Italian streamer from Naples. Absolutely none of it. Flop was checked. And now Maria check folds on the turn. Not sure why the players are leaving. Maybe break is looming. I think there is a break. We're going to be back in about 15 minutes. Join us then. The feature table contains a few standout players. This guy, Mattia Festa, quality act, but pretty short stacked. Also, Florian Labong, very impressive. C3, Florian. You can see playing 920k, the chip leader. Uh, Leonardo Sabatino creating a lot of the action on this feature table it's day two it's late in day two all these players in the money this main event 250 euro buy-in with a massive 500k guarantee that guarantee was smashed the prize pool was 570,000 after 2,728 players entered. So, Behros Adawud, the short stack on this table. Marshall Levetsi, the new arrival in seat one. And that's Marshall. Will be first to speak looking down at Queen 9. No interest. 165 remain. Florian Lebon. 9 6. Let's it go, Emil. Who's played a pretty decent game here on this TV table. This is Madia Festa. Small blind Queen 4. There's 60,000 out there. Mattia will compete for the 60,000 Vincent verdict from Belgium looks down at Jack 5 <laughs> so Mattia limps and Vincent checks Mattia Flops two pair of checks and Vincent checks back. So we go to a turn. It's the eight of hearts. Now you're going to see Mattia come out and fire here on the turn for value. Vincent verdict, no interest. Just going to let this go. Vincent verdict. 1.1 million stack Vincent has made some great progress on this table started at about 600,000 a couple hours ago Vincent Matty has pretty static stack wise but he's you can see he's trying to create something he'll be in the button position and Vincent will post small blind the new arrival on the table Marshall will post the big blind big blind ante that is 25,000 for both first to speak on the left hand side of your screen you can see him now in the center Leo Sabatino he snap folds as does Florian Emil out of the way short stack folds Salvatore will be opening here Put off ace 10 clear open makes it 55,000 and Vincent verdict looks down at pocket eights
Vincent with an option. Bowling. Not one of them options you feel. Three bet. But just flat. That's what he does. He just flats with the eights and Marshall and the big blind not interested. So Vincent with the pair. Salvatore Delia with the two overs. And that's an ace in the window. Welcome sign from Salvador Delia. Leads out for 16,000. I can't see Vincent surrendering just yet. The likelihood is your opponent who raised pre flop is going to be leading out here such a huge percentage of the time. Does he have an ace? Maybe, maybe not. So I think Vincent's going to call one street and then reassess the situation on the turn. Salvatore Delia now makes two pair. And Salvador should be going for value again here. Target all the ace X's. Vincent calling from the small blind position. Could have ace jack, ace queen. Certainly have heard from ace king pre, so. One of these hands, maybe. Jacks, nines. But Salvador won't get any more action from Vincent verdict Salvador takes down the pot first pot I can recall Salvador taking down to be honest in playing Pretty tight, as is Behras Dawood to his immediate right. This is Florian Lebong under the gun, Queen Jack. Early position, I guess this goes into the bin. And now action with Emil Lukic. He folds and am I misreading things? About Ross folding the eights there. We did see him fold sevens to one bed, ace ten suited. I think, uh, I really think eights is just way too strong to be folding there. No, given there was no action. So, Maria with the ten nine, he won't be folding in the cutoff when folded around to him, he opens and Marshall. With the Queen Jack makes the call and Leo Sabatino with the suited baby ace in the big blind position will for sure be putting in the additional 25k to see a flop. So Matty has completely missed. Marshall has made a pair but Leo has hit this hard, he's made two bear. Maria. Getting called from the small and big blind ace, queen five. You'd reckon Maria would continue here. He just rep that board as the pre flop aggressor. But I mean, he's going to run into it here. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, he gets action in two spots. No, Maria's. Sorry, Marshall lets it go, but for sure, Leo 
will be continuing. May just flat here, Leo. I mean, he's hit this hard top and bottom. But he's going for chips, it looks like. Going for the check raise. That's just going to blow Mattia off the hand, end of hand. Mattia with absolutely none of this, no connection whatsoever. Holds on the chip leader up to 2.1 million on the to table here, the TV table. Leo Sabatino from Italy. 2.1 million. Average stack around 800,000. But now on Martial. Small bind posted by Leo and big blind by Florian. First to act will be Emil Lukic. Salvatore, ace jack, for sure he's going to be opening. You can see the average stack is actually 868. That's Mario on the left hand side of your screen, and this is Martial. Lovetsi with the 10 4 in the bin. Leo, small blind, 6 5. It's going to be folding this. But Florian in the big blind should be defending here with a suited ace 9. You'd expect him just to put in the 35,000. Blinds are 10,000, 25,000. Salvatore makes it 60 and Florian just asking is there any 100k chips they've been introduced since the break and these are dark grey chips you can see Emil there with two of them at the front of a stack 100k chips so Florian just getting an idea what he's up against Salvador opening with the ace jack and Florian makes the decision to continue as you would expect with ace nine suited Seven seven five. Two hearts, one spade. Both have missed. Florian with the back doors. Check and snap check from Salvatore. Now he hits his jack. But Florian will be first to speak. He checks again and Salvatore Deli I checks back interesting eight on the river florian with a blocker in his hand to the straight But Florian checks once again and how Salvador hasn't gone for value is astonishing. He needs to go for it. Here he goes. You can see the prize pool displayed in the top left. All these players guaranteed. 605 at the moment. But look at that, 90,000 up top. So 115,000 value bet from Salvador Delia. Florian made hero call before. Don't rule it out with ace high here. Hundred and fifteen thousand. What's he beating? King Queen? Oh. 
probably the only reasonable hand you can expect. King 10 suited, Queen 10 suited. So, Salvatore. Delia. That check in the turn has actually earned him. Street of value on the river. Florian Le Bon pays him off. So button moves and now the short stack Peros Dawood who's really adopted tight is right that's Beros Dawood but he's down to 425 that's 16 17 bigs exactly Madia Festa here we go Matia 17 big blinds king queen min raise it makes a 50,000 this is Vincent verdict jack nine in the bin and now martial with a suited ace puts in the 50,000 gets confirmation from the dealer but leo sabatino with a real hand here, the ace jack suited. Mattia opens. Min raise fifty thousand. Martial flats. Leo. Three betting opportunity. Pretty aggressive, this guy, Leo. There comes the three bet, 155, no surprise. Florian should be just snap folding here, the ace four. And now Emil, five high in the bin. Mattia Festa, king, queen, no interest. Too much interest, too much aggression. Leo Sabatino with the three bet on Martial. You feel we'll let this go also. <coughs> Martial decides to continue. He is suited. However, out of position. That kicker is a serious problem. Both players mix, miss. Matty, I would have hit this flop. Martial first to speak checks and now action with Leo. So, check bet fold, Martial lets it go, Leo the chip leader, you can see his stack size up to 2.3 million displayed there in the chip count graphic for this main event, the Italian poker sport week here in the resort and the main event, 250 euro buy in half a million guaranteed prize pool has swelled to 570,000 euro all these players in the money but of course it's that massive payment on the final table first place 90,500 top spots include a seat to this year's WSOPE main event which promises to be the biggest tournament, biggest festival of 2020. 
without a doubt already the guts of a hundred qualifiers mostly live via Kings Resort but also online there's been several online qualifiers this is Leo Sabatino in the cutoff at A6 the chip leader just starting to take control of this table Emil Lukic in the small blind with King Jack off suit. Makes the call and the big blind Bet Ross Dawood who's now down to I don't know about 14 bigs. Emil has smacked this flop top two. Checks Leo Sabatino. Chip leader. Raise pre with a weak ace. Probably going to see him continue. 80,000. 50% pot size bet. Emil. Top two. in the tank considering a raise wouldn't be out of the question want to build this pot up as big as possible he knows he's in the lead Here we have the check raise which will just completely blow Leo Sabatino off the hand Leo with just ace high will lose interest immediately So action with the chip leader Leo who raised prey with the A6. Emil in the small blind. With the King Jack off suit. Makes the call. Flops top two. Emil is just check raised, so we're just waiting for Leo to give up. Absolutely none of this board. But Leo, very stubborn, looks like he wants to get sticky here, but I just can't see how he can continue. Okay. There it is, there's the Fold from Leo as expected and Emil takes down the pot, brings his stack up to 1.2 million for Emil Lukic from Slovakia. Put in position for this particular hand. The small blind will be posted by Betros Dawood, who's the short stack. Salvador posted big and big blind ante. And also very short is Mattia Vesta, who you see now on your screen. Mattia with just 380,000 behind. Three, two. This is just not the hand to make a move. Three high in the bin. Vincent folds the King 7 in action. Fold it right around to Emil in the button position, who should be opening here on the button with the suited Queen. I believe there's about a hundred and 
50 odd players remaining. We will have a graphic displaying the exact numbers any moment. So both players connect Salvador Delia, the big blind defends and he hits second pair, but Emil, top pair, backdoor diamonds, backdoor straight. So 45,000 continuation from a male and it's snapped off from Salvador. Deuce of spades, this will go check from Salvador and a male. Could check this back, but. It's got to be pretty confident he's in front here. Does check back. Now that check back will probably get value on the river here. Emil Lukic should be going for value here for sure. Three of diamonds on the river. does get Emil paid off the check in the turn gets Emil paid he's been pretty impressive this guy Emil Lukic and you know what Neil is actually from Slovenia apologies That's the short stack. Mattia Festa, young, young Italian, now posts small blind. Vincent, big blind. First to speak with this this player in seat one is Martial. Seven four in the bin. You can see the graphic in the top left showing the stats. Hundred and forty six players remain. Yeah, I understand that flag for Emil is Slovakian, but I'm pretty sure Emil Lukic is from Slovenia. And apologies for that, but our super tech team will snap sort that out. Been around the block, this guy Emil has form.
So Leo under the gun, Queen Jack, chip leader on the table, Leo. So this under the gun open can be, I mean, it can be treated as a button open, to be honest, given that Leo has all the chips, but he's going to have a problem here because Vincent Verdict in the small blind has picked up a premium ace king. And Vincent, three bets, as you'd expect, makes it 160,000 total. Leo should be just giving this up. Queen Jack off suit. But he looks like he's going to continue. No, makes it discipline fold. And Vincent verdict with the ace king takes down the pot button moves you can see the player in the center of your screen that is mattia festa from naples southern italy sitting i believe on about Oh. One, two, three, four. Yeah, he's just about four hundred K. Hundred and forty five players now remain. Blind still ten thousand, twenty five thousand. Florian Lebon under the gun, the Jack Eight suited. Now Mattia, Queen 10, 50,000. Min raise and Vincent looks down on the button with a pair. Vincent playing 1 million flat. Vincent flats. Martial in small blind position gets out of the way, but Leo with a suit of queen is value hunting here. 25,000. 160k out there, so he's going to come along for the ride. 985 again. Vincent hits his set. Good shot for Mattia. Leo with none of it. Vincent checks back his set. Ace on the turn now. Vincent would think that's a brilliant card for him. Surely one of these guys is an ace is what he's been thinking. And Mattia as the pre-flop raiser will be repping that ace. 80,000. I'd love to just see a flat here from Vincent. Keep all Mattia's bluffs still in. But he did overplay the aces some time back, but he plays this beautifully, just flats. Now, Leo, what's he thinking? Absolutely none of this. Queen high. No possibility of winning this when it comes to showdown. But was perhaps thinking of a squeeze play, but he lets it go. And now Mattia could be in big trouble here. Come the river, there's 345,000 out there. And Mattia, with less than a pot size bet behind a ace on the river. Vincent boats up. Mattia Festa, the Italian, does he pull the trigger?
Maria shuts down. Vincent full boat. It's going to be hard to extract value from Queen High. Thirty thousand Maria Festa Is Maria thinking of making a move here? He's capable of it, but it's not gonna work, Maria. The Italian with Queen High. But maybe he's thinking Queen High could be good. Well. He's trying to figure a hand that he's beating. Ten Jack, he's blocking that. Maria can't figure one either, so he just lets it go. And Vincent verdict flops his set, houses up on the river, takes down another pot. So button moves, the player in seat number one is Martial and this is Emil Lukic with the ace queen suited 1.4 million average stack 1 million Emil will certainly be opening ace queen makes it 55,000 Salvador Delia with the nines we're going to see action here just the flat from Salvador Mattia in bad shape gets out of the way Vincent Verdict looks down at King Queen suited Vincent facing it under the gun open flat call I mean just a flat call here should be the order of the day there's the call and Marshall with absolute air let's go the jack three off suit Leo loves getting involved but Queen six is too big a stretch let's go look at the price Florian's getting to defend here there's 225,000 out there and it's 30,000 for him to call so he's getting more than seven to one which is a phenomenal price and Florian compelled to call even though his hand is five high so ten jack eight up and down straight draw for Vincent verdict Good shot for Emil and Salvador Delia, who's still in the lead here with the nines, has two blockers to the straight that's out there. So Emil Lukic, who opened 
under the gun pre-flop is checking here the good shot and it's gone check around and now the queen well i mean that gives salvador the straight but vincent and emil both connect with that queen So action with Vincent. Top pair up and down straight draw. Mm. I don't know. With Emil still in the hand, I think he just lets this go. This is just too high risk this spot here putting another 155 in four cards to the straight Vincent does continue. Emil, recognizing the danger, just lets it go. Ten on the river, pairs the board. Salvador, concerned of that pair board and doesn't go for value checks and I'd say Vincent happy enough for the showdown here Vincent checks back Salvador missed an opportunity to extract maybe from Vincent on the river so Salvador up over the one million mark you can see the graphic there displaying all the chip count for each player Mattia 310,000 just 12 big blinds that clock down clicking coming towards the end of this level Levels are 50 minutes. Barros Dawood also in bad shape. 14 bigs, but same story up top. Leo Sabatino, chip leader. You can see 134 remain a million is the average stack. This is Barros. He folds and it's folded around to Vincent. Sitting on average stack, and Martial will be opening here to 55,000 with the big slick. And we're going to see Leo Sabatino three bet with the Jacks. He looks down at a pair on the button, pocket Jacks facing an opening the cutoff. Three bet incoming. There we go. Looks to be 130. What a setup. Florian Labong looks down at Kings. Massive spot for Florian Labong. Now, how interesting would this be if Florian just decides to flat with the Kings facing cut off open and a button three bet? Florian looks down at Kings in the small blind position. I don't think Martial is ever getting away from this. 
perhaps Martial does save Leo. But I mean, Leo is, he's super aggro, Leo. It's not, he don't like folding Leo Sabatino. So it's not out of the question. All the money goes in. Oh, Florian moves all in. 630,000. I don't think Martial can fold this ace king. Martial moves all in and now action with the chip leader Leonardo Sabatino with the jacks. What a setup! Cut off with ace king. Small blind wakes up with kings after. The button three bets. So Leonardo Sabatino just getting a clear understanding of what exactly are this DAX. And they're pretty similar. Look at that. Incredible. Florian with 630,000. And Martial with 620,000. So Leo Sabatino. I mean, he's getting such a huge price here. He's getting three to one almost with jacks. And he could be, I mean, well, Florian could be doing this with ace queen. An all in rip here. Could be doing it with tens. But, I mean, Marshall's. Rejam looks super strong. Funny thing is, Leo flipping against Martial, but I mean, he's crushed by Florian, absolutely. Puts in, I don't blame him for making the call here. He's going to hate to see the Kings. I mean, there you go. Massive spot, Martial, ace hunting, Leo, looking to spike a jack, Florian Labong in brilliant shape here, 1.9 million pot, almost double the average stack in the pot, two clubs, Florian does have that king of clubs. Club in the turn would be useful. Killing off the ace and jack of clubs. But it's the ten of hearts. King's in the lead. Needs to dodge an ace and a jack. You can see the... Oh, sick. Oh, boy. Martial. Barry Greenstein, ace in the river. What can you do, says Florian? Get your money in, good. That's all I can do, no more. It's pretty brutal. Comes on the river and he's left with absolute shrapnel. Looks like to be about 20,000 behind. These are 5k chips he has. And Martial up to 1.9 million. New chip leader Leo down to 1.4 million. Biggest pot of the stream so far. The Frenchman triples. Florian doesn't even have a big blind left. Interesting spot there. Cut off button and small blind. Three players in a row picking up premium hands. 
big slick. Connects on the river. On the way out of the tournament, Martial. Ace on the river for the triple. So the short stack, Behros posts big blind and big blind ante. Chip leader, Martial, in the hijack position with ace 10 and Leo looks it's a bit stunned to be honest. Oh, this is light. Jack 7. This is light. Tilt call maybe. Florian folds. But Emil Lukic won't be folding. Ace Jack. In the small blind position. Emil pulls the trigger. I think Martial just let this go, and I mean, Leo's going to get punished also for calling light here, Leo Sabatino. Jack seven, but does have the discipline to lay it down and not get further involved. Emil, this guy has been playing a super smart game. Emil Lukic. Hasn't put a foot wrong. Florian, you can see in the screen with the few chips he's messing around with he's 20,000 four or 5k chips Here we go. Florian moves the four chips over the line to indicate he's all in. Emil Lukic, 10 8 suited on the button. It's going to cost him 25k because that is the minimum bet here. So Emil Lukic has position. He may put in 25 here. He's probably going to realize a flop. Well, the blinds are up now. They're 15,030. So Emil puts in the 30k. Big blind. Salvador Delia will check his option here, I'm sure. That's what he has done. So we're going to go to the flop. And Salvador makes top pair. Emil's second pair. So this is a bet into a dry side pot. The main pot, Florian. Well, actually, there is. There's already 20k in the main in the in the side pot. Florian all in for 20k. Big blind 30k. So 20k in the side pot, and Salvador bet 65k total bet there is a main pot there also this guy is playing a real good game this Emil guy Florian 7-5 absolutely none of it he'll need runner runner
It's all over. Uh, what a gentleman. Gets a horrendous beat. Massive pot, but... Wishes all the players and the dealer good luck. Real good sport. That is Florian Lebon. Unlucky to see him leave. Gentlemen. Pretty decent player, let's be honest. He had the makings of this table. So down to 130 players. Average stack just over a million. Martial is the chip leader. He's absent, just taking a walk around. Discussing that huge hand with a couple of his friends on the rail, I'm sure. I knew it was going to hit. I knew it was behind, but I knew that ace was coming. That's why I put my money in. That's his story, and he's sticking to it. This is Leo Sabatino, King 10. Now, Mattia Festa, the shortest stack on the table, he's nine bigs behind, looks down at Queen Jack. Just makes the call. Graphics ain't fold, that's incorrect, he's made the call, Mattia. He's hit a good shot with two overs. Could go all in. Yeah, unfortunate for Maria. Leo Sabatino has made top pair. But you can see Maria's equity. So a nine for the straight. Queen or Jack would give him a bigger pair. Maria Festa all in. The Italian. Flatting. Pre and... Flopped the good shot with the two overs. Puts all his money in. The six on the turn, no good. Mattia Festa. All in for his tournament. Leo Sabatino. With top here. And makes trips, Leo. End of the line for Mattia Festa. The Italian is eliminated. Very disappointing to see this young man bust out. Never really got it going. Was short from the start on this feature table. But for sure we're going to hear from this guy in the future. He's one of the most popular streamers. On the Italian poker scene. Hugely popular. You can actually uh, check out his stream. I believe it's Yo, watch me win. 